Hello and welcome. Well, I never did like this handle right here. It's kind of a nuisance to use. So I thought I'd make like a drill press handle for it. Three handle, maybe a little shorter where it won't interfere with the, what is that X, that Y axis. And I think uh, this is a uh, 12 millimeter. Fits on my vise here. So we're gonna use this 12 millimeter and make a handle. Here's what I'm thinking. So a handle something like that only with really short handles. I really like this. And that was fairly easy to make. So that's what we're gonna make today. There's my materials there. This worked out pretty good. I'll take a little bit of the guesswork out of it. It's either 70 or 110 degrees. Okay, I'm going to make it kind of like this, like I did at the lockdown on my drill press here. It's going to have like a little shoulder right here. I'll probably make it a little bit longer than that, and that'll hold my socket. Okay, I'm going to bore a hole for this socket, and I'm going to bore it to 9 sixteenths. It's .675, whatever that is, probably metric. may not be an actual dimension, it's just the outside diameter. And I'm going to bore one inch thick, or one inch deep rather, which is slightly deeper than the socket, and then I'll press that in there and weld it around the edges. Hopefully that'll hold it. Let's see, I want to get this depth fairly close. 875, that means 8.7 turns. One, two, three. Yeah, well, I got that a little bit looser than I wanted it to. But it'll be all right. I'm going to get that. Looks like the perfect depth. That right there is a relief for my weld when I put the socket in there. Okay, I want to set my compound for that angle on the drill press, which I don't know, remember what it is. Here we go. Okay, now I got a drill for the handle, handles, three handles. I use this tool post drill here. It was a, uh, I got a video I made a long time ago on it. It's just a bushing stuck in the a boring bar holder. Works good though. And I'll set up this uh, tool post square with my compound, and I'll be drilling at the right angle. A little bit concerned about being able to get a drill large enough in there to drill for my 3 8 so pilot hole won't be a, well. Well, let's see. How am I going to do that? I got this thing here. It's a uh, tool post extension. Haven't used it in a long time. I'm not sure I can remember how it was used.
All right, close enough. Okay, to position these holes, I've got to use my indexer. Okay, on my index wheel, I think the reds are six. One, two, three, four. Every other red dot will give me three positions. Okay, now I'm going to drill an eighth inch pilot hole. Now I got to go to 5 sixteenths, which is the pilot size or the drill size for a 3 8 tap. I think three and a half will be about right. If not, I'll cut it off a little bit. Okay, I don't have any balls to put on the end, ball handles to put on the end of these, so I'm going to make some. I'm going to turn my compound exactly opposite of what it was. Again, we're just eyeballing. Not critical. Now I've got to thread that and and then uh, cut it off. That hole is one half inch deep, so I need to go about three quarter inch on my cutoff tool.
Okay, I screwed the uh, end I just made onto the rods we threaded. Well, it looks pretty good. Time to weld the socket. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm guessing about 95 amps. Yeah, probably about 100. Hopefully I don't destroy the socket. I believe that'll lock down plenty tight. It's a lot faster. I wish it was a little better fitting. I could put a set screw in there with a ball detent in it. I may do that. Doesn't interfere with my other handle. it. If it gets in the way I can take it off but chances are it won't get in the way. Anyway thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.